Live streaming is one of the greatest ways to connect with people when it comes to being raw, being authentic, and building an audience that's very engaging in that moment. And my favorite tool for using that is StreamYard. And I have the one, the only, the co-founder of StreamYard, Gage, here to tell us his top secret tricks that you didn't know about for StreamYard to help you live stream better. Hi, my name is Desiree, and if you're looking to grow your business better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and that bell below. What is like one of those things that people did not know about StreamYard that would like blow their mind. It would blow their mind? People that are already using StreamYard probably know about it, but people that aren't, something we added recently that um, we're really excited about is multi-streaming. So the ability to go live on places like YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn all at the same time, and you don't lose the comments. So when you're getting comments in from Facebook and YouTube, they'll show up right in the studio, so you can still engage with people on all those different platforms uh, without having to sort of like go from one to another and figure out what people are saying. So that's something we really enjoy and we're really excited about. So usually with multicasting, you've had to use like Restream IO in the past. And so you basically have saved the money and time by not having to have this like third party in between tool, right? Yeah, and Restream's great, but yeah, it's just like an extra sort of step. So it's nice to have like one tool that you can just sort of deal with everything, so that's why we wanted to add it. All right, now one of the things that I want to make sure that you guys know about is like how awesome it is that you can use StreamYard to create your own custom graphics. One of the funniest things in the world for me about Gage is I did a really awesome live stream with TubeBuddy for the Women of YouTube panel, and I had made all of these graphics for the screen in Photoshop, and Gage was like, are you sure you used <laughs> StreamYard for that? Because I didn't know that you could do that. So make sure one of the things that you are really investing in when you're doing this is really well done graphics that you can make in Photoshop or a third party tool and upload that PMG and then on the far right hand side of the StreamYard tool you can interchange them out as many as you want. But yeah, you can make a great looking stream and Desiree definitely <laughs> impressed me because someone shared a clip of the stream and it took me a couple minutes before I was 100% sure it was actually StreamYard because of how well <laughs> she was changing transitions and things like that that I wasn't positive that she wasn't using some additional <laughs> tools or something like that. So yeah, the, the this, the ceiling is high. You can do a lot of cool stuff, stuff that I am, don't even know about. So that's great. It's the difference between a developer and a, cre and a creative, I think. Yes, I think Definitely. that's... What's something that StreamYard offers that the other places don't? Uh, we recently added a green screen feature, which is pretty cool. So okay. if you have uh, a green screen behind you, you can actually change your, your background, is pretty, which is pretty exciting. Um, the main thing we have that others don't, the main focus is just on being super easy. Right, so it's we're not about offering every single thing. It's mostly just like, do you want to? Do you have something interesting to say? Do you have content to make? But you're not particularly interested in learning about encoders and bit rates and all that crazy stuff. Uh, we're all about just making something that you don't have to learn about anything. As long as you can open up a browser, uh, you can use Streamyard and you can start live streaming with your with your web camera and, and mic. So I think the selling point is that you don't need to you don't need to learn a bunch of tools. You just go live on Streamyard and it will still look great. You can you can show banners on the screen comments, overlays, without having to really dive deep into the technology, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna rapid fire you because I get a lot of questions about StreamYard and I wanna get them clarified while we're here. All right, can you use StreamYard on mobile? Uh, as a guest, so guests can join on uh, on any mobile device. They can just go to the link and they'll be able to join you on screen. We do not support uh, hosting from mobile yet, but that might be coming, who knows. Okay, um, Mac or PC? For me? No, uh, Mac or, can you use StreamYard on Mac? Oh, PC? any, any device, all operating systems work just fine. Mac, PC, even Linux, if for the few people out there that use Linux, it will all, it'll all work fine, as long as it runs Chrome or Opera or a browser, as long as you can run a browser on it. You're... What is the recommended internet speed for using StreamYard? You don't need very much, so we recommend having about five uh, megabits per second up and five down. That should be that should be that should be plenty for you. What's more important is that you have a good connection. So you don't want to be on Wi-Fi far away from the router. Ideally, you want to plug directly in, and then you'll be set up for an awesome experience. And of course, make sure you don't have you know uh, a family member streaming Netflix or playing <laughs> video games at the same time because uh, that that is one hundred percent a problem in my house. <laughs> True story. <laughs> um, and then. Um, is StreamYard something you have to download onto your computer to use, or is it like through the internet? How, how do I get into StreamYard? Don't have to download anything. You just go to uh, StreamYard.com and you can, you can sign right up and get started immediately. You don't have to download nothing specific to StreamYard. As long as you have a browser on your computer like Chrome, uh, you can go live immediately. Just, just sign up and, and just create a broadcast and hit the go live button and you're good to go. Is it free to use StreamYard? Yes, we have a free version. It's a freemium product, so we have free and paid versions. So, um, yeah, you can you can totally go live for free. You get 20 hours per month that you can go live, which um, 
that's it's quite a bit. Like you could have a, a two hour show every week and be have plenty. You could have and still have time left over, um, and you can do that forever. We, we'll always have that uh, free option. You'll just have our cute little duck in the uh, the corner there. Hey, look at the, yeah, look at the duck. you'll be repping Streamyard, but you you have most of the functionality. You can still ha you can still invite guests in. You'll, you can have a, yourself plus five guests on the free version as well. You can show banners. You can show the comments. There's a lot of functionality on on the free version. And can I do Twitch on Streamyard? Yes, we added Twitch not that. Long ago, I don't remember the exact date, but a couple months ago, yes, we now we now support Twitch and comments. So if you, you can go live directly to Twitch, and comments will come to the studio, and you can pop those up on screen as well. Awesome! All right, guys, I truly do love Streamyard. I have used all of the live streaming tools. I only share with you things I have tried and love myself. So I really think the best part about Streamyard, of all things, is that they have an amazing community. And Gage himself is on there, actively trying to take everything that people want and need into consideration when they are making and developing new features. So if you are looking for an awesome live streaming tool, please look no further than Shimmer. And I have a link for you down in the description below. And if you have any questions and things you want to figure it out, let us know in the comments. I'm going to make Gage answer all of them. I'll answer all right. everyone. <laughs> yes. All right. And if you guys are looking for more information about how to go live with StreamYard, watch this video right here. And if you're looking for more interviews from Social Media Marketing World, watch this playlist right here. And until next time, I'll see you soon.